This is a little different. <clears throat> I, when I uh, did the recording last week for uh, Jonah, I noticed that, you know, I, I cover a million different topics when I teach anything, um, and I should have given you more information on my not believing in original sin. Now, I don't believe anybody actually believes in original sin, even the ones who claim to, because for a while I thought I did. What you'll hear is most people will tell you that you're born in sin, you're a sinner by birth, and then you're a sinner by choice. Well, if they really believed that, they would believe that when a baby died, it went to hell. Because if you're born in sin, you're a sinner by birth. Then you should go to hell. They don't really believe that. Romans 5, verse 12. Romans 5, verse 12. <clears throat> he says, Wherefore, as by one man... Notice this word, sin, S-I-N. What sin is that? It's not defined. It's just sin in the aggregate. Sin as a, as a being, as a thing. Sin entered into the world. And death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have, what's that word? Sinned. What does that mean? That is, they have all committed sin. That's a choice. Look at it in verse 17. For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one. You know what he's talking about. If Adam's sin passed on the sin to other people, then he's going to make a comparison. <clears throat> Much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. You see the comparison? The comparison is Adam sinned that opened the door to sin to all men. So Jesus Christ does the same thing. He comes to, to earth and opens the door to life. But now the comparison has to hold. Did Jesus' death give everybody eternal life? They had to choose it. Just like you choose sin. Um, it basically says the same thing in verse 18. Now here's where it gets pointed. Romans 7. Romans 7 verse 8. <clears throat> But sin, there it is, sin in the aggregate, taking occasion by the commandment, that is, his conscience was quickened. He knew there was a commandment, do this or don't do that. Wrought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. That is, if I didn't know it was wrong, there was no, uh, there was no penalty. Verse 9, for I was alive without the law once. When? Good question. If you believe he was born in sin, he was not alive. He was born dead. No, he says I wasn't. He said I was born alive. When I choose to sin, I became a sinner and died. So that's the, the other verses I should have gave you, but I didn't. <clears throat> 